What's up everyone? We're here in Lebanon, Oregon. Entrance should be here to the left. I uh, street viewed it. Uh, we head to Buena Park. We're gonna try to stop by the terminal. We're only about 100 miles away. Uh, but I don't think we can take this 20 all the way down to Bend. I'm gonna see. It's pretty windy. Uh, but I'm gonna call my dispatcher. Uh, ask if I can go to can route me to the terminal and then see what route he gives me. Uh, more likely it shouldn't be an issue since I'm pretty close. The only way is how do I get there? Okay, so 0 0.9 miles. Oregon has a lot of these like back roads you can take, a lot of windy roads. So and I don't have my atlas with me, it's still in the car, so. Usually Central Oregon is pretty good on the planning part where they tell you what to take, so if I call the guy and see, I hope I can take the 20, but it's very windy, so I haven't seen no signs about uh, truck restrictions or uh, truck links uh, down this 20, so it should be right here. See it says right there, shipping. Do I park right here? What's that? Do I just stay right here? Uh, no, you check in at the little uh, uh, building right there. Yeah. Print out your paperwork, grab your copies, and then come around and park by us. Oh, okay. This is what I hate about this truck. We'll let you go and drive until you get around 100 PSI. As you guys know, I um, had an Oakway ticket, so <laughs> really hate this closed axles on the trailer. The load would have been fine. Um, I have scaled most of my loads. Uh, as I explained in the last video, there was nothing I could do anyways. It was a Friday. I was about two hours away from the next truck stop at the scale. By the time I got there, it was already them closing. So wasn't too worried about it. I didn't think it was that overweight. And then when I got through California scale, got inspected, I thought it was really good. And then once I hit that Oregon one, I saw the scale uh, weight and I was like, oh shit. All right, so this is the scale, I think. Uh, where is it? Do the calculator. There it is. cool this scale actually has separate axles so I don't have to do this uh, 
This is the big test. So it's not that heavy of a load. Thank you. Yep. Right, so we got four bundles, we're about three. Uh, three in the back, three in the front, and then two. Does yours say a tarp load? Huh? Do, do you have to tarp these? Do you guys? I don't. I want a dedicated haul. I just, uh, I just, uh, run back and forth from Woodburn. Oh, that's easy. I'm not joking about it. <laughs> get to go home every day? Huh? You get to go home every day? Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a good gig. <laughs> yeah. Usually I go home every every weekend or every other weekend. I noticed that uh, I noticed that you're only five axles. You California. Yeah, I five corridor. They try to keep me on. I hate it though. <laughs> I got my first overweight ticket in three years. either but i'd rather have the spread 48s set so that i don't have to worry about the back axles weight yeah <laughs> I hate California, but my son lives there, so. If I could choose, I would leave. level two inspection in California and they didn't say nothing. Oh fucking get it. But they say it doesn't go on your report but I don't know if I believe it. It's just a ticket. Moving or affects your points.
So I'll do is one more walk around, check it, and then uh, get out of here. Uh, we gotta go get some uh, alignment and stuff like that done, so I think I'm gonna deliver this thing Wednesday anyways. But we'll see. Depends how fast they can do it. Uh, I didn't expect to be here this late. 30, 1.30. By the time I get down there and get fixed, it's probably gonna be like five. But we'll see. Yes, right. It's not my decision. <laughs> I just wish they could call me. Oh, that's fine. Cool. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? That doesn't surprise me because, uh, you know, on top of what happened to Yella, you know, like the oldest LTO carrier and one of the largest, I'm not going to say the largest, I think some people say they're the largest, but. I know they're big, but I don't know how big they are compared to other carriers that have been around as long as they have. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised to hear that. Yeah, thirty thousand drivers looking for a job, and when the LTL business has already been real shaky, so now they're all that freight's going to be dumped on everybody else, which is probably going to be a good thing. But as for the you know, What's up everyone, we're here at the Kenworth dealership. Uh, we've always had this alignment issue uh, for a little while, but the tire is starting to groove in. Like, you know, if you feel it, it's like a bump like this. So I know it's an alignment issue. Uh, it's supposed to do at the terminal because they want us to like have the, it be cheaper to get the tires and service done. But we went to Levitt's, which is in Springfield, Oregon. It's like a sister company. Uh, they couldn't do the alignment. And I asked them because this load would have been perfect to go through our terminal and they wanted me to go here. So um, I don't know what the plan is, but I know they can do alignment pretty quick here. But I don't know about the tire. They're probably going to have to pay it out of pocket, go to Love's, you know, which is a couple hundred dollars more, you know, than the terminal. So I'm not sure. I'm waiting for his answer on that. But I'm hoping this will be quick. We'll be out of here by four. I just need to drive at least two, three hundred miles. So I'm thinking like Corning. Or some over there um, at the TA, we can stay for the night and then drive the rest Tuesday, and then uh, deliver Wednesday morning. It's going to be the plan, but it all depends on these people. Hopefully, they're pretty quick so I can get back on the road and uh, try to get shut down again by like seven or eight o'clock at night. So we'll see how long these guys will take. Went to in and out for dinner yesterday. Uh, pretty good. The load's doing really good. Uh, we're only about two hours away from Baldwin Park, California. Uh, it's 5 a.m. We're gonna try to beat the LA traffic, or at least try to get through most of it, uh, and get through LA like about 6 a.m. Uh, my 10 hours up at right at 4:50, so it's almost five o'clock. And we'll hopefully get out of here. Um, I don't know the plan still. Is that even home by Friday? So I'm thinking maybe a short hop to Phoenix and then back home, or maybe a load to SLC and back. So I don't know their plan. It's just kind of a weird spot to be in for be home Friday. 
this have been a perfect load if it was going home for Friday. Like this would have been a perfect, perfect load. So um, never had an issue going home with Central Oregon. So I'm not really worried until it doesn't happen. So um, well, yeah, sun's doing pretty good on the truck. You guys haven't seen him on the YouTube video at all. This kid loves to sleep, so <laughs> he doesn't get up until about 11 o'clock in the morning. And by the time that happens, usually I'm dropping a load and pick up a load already. So he's only helped me maybe about two times this whole trip, but uh, it's not a big deal to me. But I'm gonna try to see if I can wake him up to early today to do one more load today. So he said he will. So we will see if we can get him on the video for the next load. But he won't do this unload, but pick up a load. We'll see how early it is and see if you'll wake up so um, but yeah we're gonna try this thing uh, dropped off right now and then uh, hopefully get a short hop load two short hop loads and get home by Friday got a lot to do this weekend so um, we'll see what's up everyone uh, we are here as you see right here in the background that is in and out distribution center super cool uh, Go walk on the street. I'll show you guys a video. But these guys, I'm not going to do a camera of the unload. They're moving way too fast. Uh, they're just dumping it right here. You see the back? They're just dumping it and going. So I, I only been here for like five minutes, and they almost got the whole load off. So uh, I like these kind of receivers. Hopefully, get a load in Fontana. Uh, do a short load, maybe two of them, and go home. So. These, these places make my day, where they unload you so quick, you don't have time to unwind your straps or anything. Like, So, uh, I would love to come here more often. Uh, I wish like Central Oregon, as like an opinion they asked me, is like a, like a box that say, hey, I would love to come here again. So if sales like sees you in an area that's going here again, because they take a lot of lumber, they can give us a load, you know? I wish we had some option like that. That would be really, really cool. Because this is time and money. I love this. So, we um, only got one more bundle. Five minutes. We got loaded up. So, we'll see you guys on the next video. What's up, everyone? We're here in uh, LA, LAX. You'll probably see our airplane right behind me. Uh, we got the sheetrock load. Pretty easy. Did a video. Just put four in the back, four in the front, three in the middle. Um, I went home last night, or went home, what did say, Friday? Wednesday night, I stayed home till Thursday. These guys didn't care when the load got here, so I brought it here Friday, because uh, my home time was supposed to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So they gave me this load. Uh, the other one canceled on those, that was going to the Home Depot and uh, in Arizona. That would've been really good, but this is all they had left. And uh, don't mind, whatever. Wanna spend some more time at home. Uh, been always itching to maybe get off the road or not, but uh, But this kind of works so um, they told me just unstrap right now And then they're gonna unload us should be back home by 1230 I need to get fuel as you guys know Well, none of you guys knew because I didn't do a video on it um, I ran out of fuel because I was gonna get fuel over in uh, past Placer City and when the load got canceled, I had no fuel really. So I actually filled up at that Acorn Casino that we usually stay at if you go to Plaster City into uh, Cali, SoCal. So I actually got fuel there and they took it. What's up everyone? We're here in Eugene, Oregon. We are, it is 3.20 once we pull in. So we made it here before 3.30. Uh, our next pickup load, which we got like three hours before I got here, is No Tie, Oregon to Reno. So the plan is to get this dropped off as quick as possible, unload it, and I'm gonna see our new pickup place if they can take us. If so, I'm gonna stay the night there or somewhere around there and then call this construction site and see if they can take us tomorrow. It's for Thursday at uh, eight. But uh, if I can get this picked up today, let's see, the light turn. Uh, if we can get this picked up today, then I'm gonna try to get it dropped off tomorrow. 
tomorrow. So that's the plan. But knowing what Oregon is, a lot of lumber place close about three or four. So I highly doubt it. But that'll be awesome. But worst case scenario, we'll just stay at night at the pickup place, get it early morning, and just drive 480 miles tomorrow and then shut it down at the construction site. Uh, this place is right here to the right, it says. What's up everyone? So we're here in Eugene. Uh, we just got a tarp unstrapped. These guys helped us do all the work, even help roll the tarps up. I got this done in no time. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you guys, just one second. Off duty in 23 minutes. So just waiting on their paperwork right now. Uh, but yeah, they helped us all out. And then uh, hopefully we're gonna give them a call for the new lumber place once we get the bills. 